you can get out there and paddle in a dry way on the Coosa. That's true. Have you ever done that in uh, one of those paddle boats? No. No, I haven't. Let me tell you, you want a good workout and a leg workout, you're definitely going to see that. It Better is, than it's, rowing, huh? It is tough. It's <laughs> tough, you know, and especially if you're out in the middle, you're like, uh, I got to get back over there. Uh, but no, it's something good to do this weekend. Check it out out there. Won't be a complete wash up, but I am expecting some rain to return to the area. Right now, you can see from our BJCC camera here, pretty quiet. We have some high clouds coming in. 79 degrees outside. It is muggy. The dew point there at 67 right now. How about 80 in Alabaster, 81 Tuscaloosa. As cool as 70. 70 degrees though from Double Springs and Gadsden. Uh, Talladega there at 72 and Clanton about 75 degrees. No rain to speak of here. All those big storms we were tracking earlier this evening back in the Mississippi, even a few tornado warnings too. Uh, what's left of them kind of dying out near Clarksdale to Cleveland there, Mississippi. Uh, that was a severe storm. Still have that severe thunderstorm watch to 11 for those areas, but not really expecting much to develop here throughout the evening or tomorrow morning though. Going to watch these storms developing here. Another upper level system along this front that's going to move its way into the region here, and that'll bring us some storms as we get into the morning hours till about lunchtime tomorrow. So the risk of severe weather greatest back to the west with that line is, but this is more so into tomorrow morning. This goes till 7 a.m. Saturday. Any storm that does develop here, we could potentially see some gusty winds and hail, so we'll keep an eye out for those tomorrow. So for the SEC baseball tournament there, 9 a.m., we're looking at uh, about a 40% chance of rain and really keeping that throughout the day. Hopefully, it storms miss Hoover like they did this evening, uh, but it will be a hot one. 88 degrees out there for the two games that we have tomorrow over in Hoover, so it should be some decent weather out there. Just very hot. Don't forget that sunscreen. The chance of rain down a little bit on Sunday, back up on Monday as our front moves in before we dry out and become less humid next week. Now, the biggest severe threat tomorrow is going to be in Kansas and Oklahoma. Level 4 out of 5 risk there. We're looking at a level 1 risk here uh, as the storms come through in the morning. Again, potentially some damaging winds and hail beginning at 7 a.m. till 7 a.m. on Sunday. Sunday as well. And then Sunday, you see there is a risk here, level one to level two. They're over the northern part of the state for winds and hail, but this is going to be more late Sunday into Monday. I think we'll see some of those storms coming in. Most of Sunday actually will be dry. And you'll see future cast showing the cloud cover tonight. There you see 7 a.m. Some of those storms trying to form here. The models are hinting at maybe they could survive all the way through our area overnight tonight. So we'll have to watch out for that. Continuing here through about 9 o'clock in the morning and even by lunchtime, still kind of working the way through Clant and back toward Alex City, Lake Martin area. So if you're heading to the lake tomorrow, keep that in mind or any of the lakes for that matter. Just watch the sky very closely with the threat for storms. Little break in the afternoon will be hot. Upper 80s once again here. And as we head into Saturday 11 o'clock, maybe a lingering shower, but most of the rain is gone. Sunday morning, we start with some fog temperatures in the 70s and then the afternoon. Here come the 90s. Mostly dry day out there for this day on Sunday. So get ready for that heat. So 88 tomorrow, about a 40% chance of those storms. Most of that in the morning. Sunday, pretty dry. 91 degrees. The rain will be late into Monday. That's when the next front comes in. Look at the heat index this weekend. 94, 95, 96 out there. So again, keep yourself hydrated. Plenty of water as well if you're going to be outdoors. Rain totals, not a lot expected. Three quarters of an inch to an inch if we're lucky. And most of us will stay pretty dry. As you'll see here as we go on into Sunday night into Monday morning, that's when our next front will move through here, bringing us some storms. A little bit to start the day on Monday. But again, notice not everyone gets the rain, but some bigger storms maybe Monday night as the front moves through drier less humid air will follow for Tuesday making for some much nicer weather. How about the beach heading down to the beach? Well, lucky you uh, temperatures 83 to 86 degrees out there. Really nice weather. Some clouds out there at times, but watch out for that moderate rip current risk there, especially Sunday and Monday in those Gulf waters. So 88 91 88 through Monday and then less humid air arrives Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're in the mid 80s, but lovely weather. How about lows 